It's been weeks since I last talked about the problems I have with Dragon Ball Super, and after watching episode 9, I'm both chagrined and hopeful. The episode begins with everyone on the yacht still trying to celebrate Boma's birthday. Beerus is about to blow up the earth if he doesn't get a Super Saiyan God, and Goku smiles right before he summons Shinron. What I really liked about this episode was the role that Videl played. She prevented the Earth from being destroyed. Another thing I really enjoyed was to see Shinron again, even though he's also a negative I have in here. I also really enjoyed learning the process of becoming a Super Saiyan God and then see it happen. Also, I really, really liked seeing actual scenes that happened in the movie happen in the TV series. Also, it looks like next episode, the fighting's gonna begin, so I'm really happy about that. And the last thing that I really liked about this was there was a whole lot less filler. What I didn't like about this episode, however, was once again, toy animation. The animation for the, the character animation was terrible in this episode. There wasn't any detail. It looked lazy. It looks like they, like they didn't even try it. It was like they just felt that, okay, if we just throw Dragon Ball out there, everybody's going to watch it. It doesn't matter if it's any good or if it looks good or anything. Most of the characters and most of the world in this episode just lack detail. Also, the colors seem to be a whole lot flatter in this episode. Maybe it's because of the bad character animation. Another thing I didn't like in this episode was the silliness of Shinron. I need to see the movie again and I'm assuming that that happened in the movie but it just seemed really silly and everything. I, even though the fight's gonna begin in the next episode it looks like it might be mostly filler because it looks like that Goku's still trying to get up to speed with all the new power that he now has and it, odds are it won't be until the very end of the episode where he's really actually ready to fight Beerus and then in episode 11 when it'll actually be some serious fighting. And that's another thing, it does concern me a little bit, just how long will this fight be? Odds are it's not going to be two or three episodes, is it going to be five, is it going to be ten, are they going to stretch it out? And once again, how many episodes will this particular season or this particular arc be? Will it be 26? Because I believe they're supposed to be introducing other destruction gods. So, you know how this series is going so far? Once it's done, it's going to need to be kindized. It needs to be shortened down. But I don't want to be completely negative on this. There were some, uh, there's at least two great parts that I really liked about this episode. One was when everybody comes together to create the Super Saiyan God. That was very dramatic and I love the music. I love the score during it. I don't know who did the score, but I love the score. I need a score and I'm willing to pay money to import the score from Japan. Unfortunately, after the score plays, then they play the series music and it's not as good. There is one more thing that I really loved about this episode. When coming together to form the new Super Saiyan God, the animation quality actually stepped up there. And I really enjoyed it. It looked beautiful. It fit also with the music. It fit and it looks like this is going to be the case where the animators are going to step up on certain scenes but then for other scenes they'll won't and like i said this series should be shorter that way they would have more money for all the episodes and the whole series could be tighter well i'm not sure if i'm gonna be doing another review on this in the future but tell me what you think about it um i'm still trying i'm still not used to doing anime episode reviews so if you enjoyed it or didn't comment below click the like and subscribe if you want to see and hear more and until next time goodbye